Hello, my name is Philip Cohen. I am a sociologist at the University of Maryland and the director of Social Archive, here to show you how to upload a paper to Social Archive, the open archive of the social sciences. So if you're like me, you've published some papers, some of them may be on paywall journals, and what you'd like to do is provide people with a uh, open access copy of a journal of a paper that's in a paywall journal. I'm going to upload a preprint today from a paper called Homogamy Unmodified that I published in 2011 in the Journal of Family Theory and Review, and you can see the information there. Before I get started, I want to consult uh, the policies of my journal to make sure that I have authorization to do what I'm about to do. The Sherpa Romeo uh, database provides a uh, archive of journal policies, and I can see here that the Family uh, Journal of Family Theory and Review does allow an author's postprint. Uh, with some conditions on my website, on an institutional repository, as long as I don't provide the publisher's PDF, and as long as I provide a citation forward, uh, I'm pretty much in the clear. So uh, that's my check to make sure that uh, I'm authorized to do this. I'm going to go straight to the Social Archive uh, website. Uh, this is our entry page. It would be the same if you were coming to search for preprints as coming to upload preprints. You can see up at the top that I already have an account with the Open Science Framework, which is the platform that Social Archive uh, runs on. So if you don't already have an account, you have to create one, which is quick and free and easy. Uh, so I'm going to just skip those steps and go straight to how to upload a paper. So I'm going to upload a preprint. I'm told there are five easy steps to add my preprint to the preprint repository. Uh, I had the option of connecting it to a project I already have on the Open uh, Science Framework, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going with a new preprint, upload, and I simply can drag my PDF I made of the preprint here and enter the title, Homogamy Unmodified, save and continue. Right. Preprint file uploaded. Okay, that didn't take long. Coming down, I'm going to choose my uh, uh, discipline, it's social and behavioral sciences. Specifically, I choose sociology, and then I can choose some categories here. So I'm going to choose uh, demography. Uh, I'm going to choose gender and sexuality. You can see it's adding these. I can add as many of these as I want. I can always come back later and add more too, so this is not a problem. I'll just take those two and continue. Okay, now uh, here I have the option of uh, choosing a license. The default is a CC0 universal license. It allows people unrestricted uh, uh, permission basically to use uh, this work. That's really the best uh, option. We can talk about why that is another time. But the, the short answer is I'm giving this away. I want people to use it however they can. Um, and that's the whole purpose of this project. I'm going to apply this license. I just leave that selected. Now here's an important component. If published, I can put the DOI for the journal uh, article here and that will provide the forward link that the journal policy requires. So I'm toggling over to the uh, page for my uh, paper in the Journal of Family Theory and Review. I can grab this DOI and just come back over to Social Archive and paste it right into this box. That will uh, link it, uh, forever link it. Uh, I'm going to come down and put my abstract. Here's the paper itself. I'm going to grab this abstract and come back here, paste that in. Does this thing with the line breaks? I can clean that up a little. You can always come back and do this later, so this is not important. If I pasted it from my Word document, these line breaks wouldn't have gotten messed up. Okay. Uh, I can put some keywords in here. So I can say same sex marriage, which is what this is really about. I can say uh, sexual orientation. I can say. Demography. So I could, you can again, you can come back here and do more with this later. Uh, save and continue. For authors, uh, I'm already here uh, uh, and I have administrative permission, and I'm this box is checked indicating that I am going to be um, 
uh, listed in the citation for this. If I was a, a somebody's assistant or colleague uploading a paper for them, I could come in here and enter a name over, and uh, uh, add them as a co-author in this step, uh, whether they already have an account on the Open Science Framework or not. That's it. Next. Uh, here I get the warning disclaimer. When I share this preprint, it will become publicly accessible. Um, I will be unable to delete the file, but I may be able to update it or modify it. Uh, and this also will create an OSF project that I can come back and modify later. I can link data and code. I can connect it to my collaborators and colleagues uh, and so on. Uh, I will receive an email confirming this if this is the first time I've been on the Open Science Framework. So after I click share, uh, this is what I see on the Social Archive site. The paper has been uploaded. You can see all the uh, metadata captured here uh, and also the uh, option to modify or edit this uh, uh, preprint information later. So I hope this was a helpful, simple tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, the contact information is at the bottom of the page. Uh, and I hope you'll put up some papers. Thank you.